Uh, if we go outside, we're going to need some heavy coats because it is winter's like, yeah. I'm here. Yes, and <laughs> this is the last day that we're seeing kind of a little bit of sunshine there out there. We've seen it kind of filtered by the clouds, but look at what we're expecting for today. Last day of the sun kind of peeking out before we do see a lot more clouds moving in. Tomorrow's when the scattered showers will be here and we're getting ready for a weak atmospheric river. We just did that explainer of what that means. It's going to be a storm system that brings in some wind and showers. But right now, this is a look at our current temperatures. We're still in the mid to upper 50s. It is so slow to warm up, but this is where we're headed for the afternoon. Around 2 to 3 o'clock is when you'll feel those warmest temperatures. If you want to go out there around uh, Concord, it's headed up for 68 degrees. Maybe need a jacket in the next hour, but a lot more comfortable for spots like Santa Rosa and uh, Nevada going into the middle of the day. And then tonight, hopefully have a chance to enjoy the torrid meteor shower. Now, this is one where you have to be really patient. This is not like the Perseids where you see a lot of them. You may see up to five meteors per hour, and that's if the sky is clear and you're just laying out there for a while. But maybe if you're lucky, you'll see one. I saw one last weekend. I bought a lottery ticket and I still didn't win. All right, so here's what's going on weather wise. We are seeing more clouds moving in. This is the atmospheric river, that long connection, that column of a lot of that tropical moisture coming in. Now, the first wave comes in on Saturday as scattered showers. That is the cold front. Back behind that is the atmospheric river that's going to quickly roll down the coast. And then by Wednesday, we're seeing it clearing out. Another storm right behind that for next weekend. So, with the, what we're expecting over the next few days between Saturday and and Wednesday, we could see anywhere from one to two inches of rain. And once again, that's the, over the course of several days. While the Sierra gets a pretty good amount of snowfall, anywhere from 39 to 42 inches of snow, that's going to be amazing to see. And of course, this weekend, we're going to remind you to set your clock back one hour. And at sunrise, we'll be at 640 and sunset 505, so super early. But we're not going to see a lot of that sunshine next week as we are going to see rain off and on moving out on Wednesday and then on Thursday we're like what is this ball in the sky we'll finally see the <laughs> sunshine coming out again Marcus great balls of fire that is yes <laughs> <laughs> thanks Gary